So when I ship hats, this is how I do it. Today is July 13th and we have just one eBay order going out. That's probably due to uh, the last week. I haven't really been listing a whole lot. Had some personal issues going on. So I'm back to start listing again and hopefully sales start picking up. So this is the item we have going out. Sold this Wonder Woman doll. Buyer paid $12.55 and they are paying $5.60 in shipping. This is another RA uh, pickup and I believe I'm into it for about a dollar fifty, two dollars, not quite sure. Today is Wednesday, July 14th and we've got four eBay orders going out today. First thing, sold one of these Biotin Hair Skin Nail Health. Cost of goods to these, into it for a dollar. This one sold for $11.20 and it is going free shipping. Second thing going out is some more of the Biotin. This buyer bought two. Cost of goods for each of these, a dollar, so that's cost of goods two dollars. This buyer paid $22.40 and it is going free shipping. Next thing we have going out is this. Zip Waist Trimmer, RA item. I believe I'm into this for maybe a dollar. And this sold for $13.18 and it is going free shipping. And the last order we have going out today sold one of these Mucinex. You see right there, the clearance sticker on it, I paid $3 for it. This buyer paid $16.16, and they are paying $14.25 in shipping. So if they're paying that much in shipping, this must be an international order. Today is Thursday, July 15th, and we have one order going out. Even though we have one order going out, this one's a pretty big bolo item. This is an HD home theater projector. I did pick this up at Walmart clearance. I paid $50. At the time, I was able to pick up two of these. I've since sold the first one. This is the last one I have going out. And this sold for $120.56. It is going for a shipping, but the shipping shouldn't be too much. So I did look up rates on this in order to ship this out. And shipping it out, just standard ground USPS, is going to cost $20.56. To ship it out priority USPS, it's going to cost $21.31. So it's just a little bit more. But then I checked on Pirate Ship, and I can get this to go out priority cubic rate for $20.58. So that's only two cents more than sending this out by ground and potentially getting positive feedback. Today is Friday, July 16th, and we have two eBay orders going out right now. Both of these happen to be hats. I don't know. Reply down in the comment if you seem to sell hats, and it seems like when one goes, you have like another one go. So, these are the items we have going out. The first item we have going out is this NFL on Fox did pick this up on that estate auction that I went to and I picked up that huge hat haul. This happens to be one of them. This sold for $14.95 and the buyer is paying $4.95 in shipping. Next hat we have going out is this Pittsburgh Steelers hat. Cost of goods into this is nothing. My oldest boy gave this to me and told me to go ahead and sell it. This sold, the buyer did pay $21.96, and they are paying $5 in shipping. So when I ship hats, this is how I do it. So the first thing I like to do is I always put these in a clear poly bag. 
just makes for a better presentation for the buyer. Grab one of my thank you cards. Now, depending upon the weight, I'll either use a 10 by 8 by 6 box. Or I'll use an 8 by 8 by 6 box. See, now this one's pretty heavy. It's going at 4, so this is going to have to go at an 8 ounce rate. That puts it over. And that still puts it over. So this will go out at a 12 ounce rate. So I'll go ahead and use this box. And if you notice, there's still a little bit of extra in there. So what I like to do is I'll use the box resizer. I can also use my shed flips knife. But when doing a box like this, it makes it easier just to go ahead and use the box resizer. And in this case here, it'll put it down too far. So I guess we're using this. You don't have to do this, but when I ship the hats, I don't like them bouncing around. And I didn't want to put any void dill in here. Shake it around. Not really much shaking going on. There's that 10, so it really doesn't matter. We don't need to cut some of these flaps off, but if you're close to the weight, you could cut some of the, I would cut the inner flaps off, but in this case, it's not gonna make that big of a deal. So, we won't spend the time. And there we go. 10.2, so that'll go out at a 12 ounce rate. You could put on the box 10 ounces, but it really doesn't matter. 10 ounces, 12 ounces, still gonna ship out at a 12 ounce rate. So I put 10 ounces. Today is Monday, July 19th, and we have a few orders going out that came in over the weekend. So let's go ahead and get these pulled. Okay, so the first thing, we sold a Disney Pixar Cars Put It In Gear Party Invites. Did pick this up at my local thrift store. I believe I'm into this for 50 cents. And there is no custom skew. So, we've got to go digging. Give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I found it. It was actually in bin A2. This is the importance of making sure you get your stuff in inventory so you use the custom SKU so that way you're not searching around for items. You can go right to the correct bin. So after this, I'm going to update the listing so that the other items 
for this particular thing because it's multi-quantity. I won't go through this again. So, come down here. There it is right there, party invites. And I believe it said a quantity of one. Invite counts 16. So, these are invite eight. So, I must need... Yeah, I must have put two of them together. So, I'll have one more listing on that. So, here we go right here. And I'm going to put it right over here. Okay, in case you're wondering, this, all these bins here, and all those bags are stuff that I picked up last Friday on a high bid auction that will be coming up shortly on a video once I'm able to go through all this stuff. So let's get back to pulling orders. Okay, next thing we sold is a Ralph Lauren polo hat, pink baseball cap, cotton strap back. Picked this up at my local thrift store. I'm into it for $2. This buyer paid $16.95 and they are paying $4.95 in shipping. Now, that's items already up in the eBay office, so we won't have to pull that one right now. I'll show you once we go up there. Next thing, I sold a lot of two Dr. Scholl, some kind of padding, and again, no custom skew. What am I thinking? All right, be right back. So, let's get back to pulling orders. Okay, after some digging, I'm still having trouble finding it. We'll come back to it later on. So the next thing we sold is an Infamous 2 collection Sony PlayStation PS3. And that happens to be right here in the stuff that's not in inventory yet. So we sold this. It is brand new sealed. It is one of the ones not for resale. Oops. That sold for $16.95 and it is going free shipping. It's fairly light. It'll go out easily at a four ounce rate. Okay. Next thing we sold, we sold new summer infant baby crib wedge. It's one of those wedges for the baby so they, they sleep kind of like upright pick these up on ra i'm into them for two dollars and fifty cents probably not one of my better buys and i remember this here had a clearance sticker of 250 on it but i do did go back and check and i did pay 250 for these So when I ship this, all I do is I put it into two large poly bags and then tape it. All it is is just a pad. It's not going to get damaged in shipping. So cost of goods into that was $2.50. It sold for $16.96 and it is going free shipping. Next thing is we sold a Casio Illuminator Men's Watch Orange. Did pick this up on RA. It doesn't tell me how much, but I believe I'm into these when I bought all these watches. I was into them for three or four dollars, maybe five. Seeing how this one is 2121, more than likely I paid four dollars for it. So I know where those are at. They are down into this one here, I believe. Here's my watches. I think it's that one. I know it's not white. It's that orange. Yes, it's got to get be this one. We'll go back and check it.
Okay. We'll pull it up, closer picture. Yes, that's it. Okay, so again, that sold for $21.21 and the buyer is paying $12 in shipping. I do know this will go out first class, so this is more than likely going international. Next thing is we sold a vintage high Bursonic AM FM raid clock radio stand alarm antenna. Kind of weird description. It says it's in bin I. Bin I is right down here. I do you remember this? I picked this up at a, I believe a garage sale. And was it Ben I or Ben L? Maybe it was Ben L. This is it. Double check it. Yep, that's it. Okay, so this sold for $19.51. It is going free shipping, but cost of goods, I picked this up at a garage sale. Can't remember which one it is. If I can remember, I'll throw a link up here somewhere. So cost of goods, a dollar into this. Believe it, it'll probably go out at maybe a 12 ounce rate, so still going first class. Okay, next thing is sold. We just sold this this morning. It's a set of Cheerio General Mills heart-shaped yellow bowls, a set of two. And they should be right up in my glassware here somewhere. Okay, so I was able to find everything, and I just brought it up here, and I'll go over the remaining items up here. So, sold this polo hat. This sold for $16.95, and the buyer did pay $4.95 in shipping. I picked this up at my local thrift store for $2. The other thing, a package of two of these Dr. Scholl Molson Skin Plus Padding. Pick these up for, it was either 25 or 50 cents each at my local thrift store. They sold for $10.95. They are going free shipping. These things are so light. If it, they had a two ounce rate, it would go out at a two ounce rate. Other thing I couldn't find was is the Cheerio bowl. Cheerio. Cheerios bowls. Set of two of these. They are the heart shaped. They date back to 2003, so they're not quite vintage. But I picked these up at my local thrift store. I figured they would probably sell. Took maybe about a month for them to sell. I did accept best offer this morning on these. They sold for $15, and the buyer is paying $9.29 in shipping. I picked these up, like I said, at my thrift store for $2 for both bowls. So, those are the items we have going out today to go ahead and close out the weekend sales. 
So if any of this information in the video was helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification. And you'll be notified the next time I do a video. So until next time, keep picking. First item we have going out is this Fox on, or this NFL on, did pick this up on the big uh, high bid for $21.95, and the buyer did pay $5 in shipping. So, let's get back to pulling orders. Next thing I set, other thing was the, a package of two. Other thing is a package of two. So if you like content like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up.